The screaming, the scheming, and the smooching all came to a head on last night's Big Brother, as you just saw the finale. And we have a winner. Please welcome Mike Mallon and runners-up Erica Landon and Janelle Perzina. <laughs> Um, before we start the questioning, I just a small live camera adjustment. Um, could you just move down? <laughs> move down. Move down. Yeah, this is a much better seating <laughs> arrangement. So I don't have to sit here. Rosie is very upset. So, and officially, we have to congratulate you on um, the Big Brother win. Thank you. All stars. Thank you. Um, you won five hundred thousand dollars. Yes. But uh, some people would argue that you just rode Will's coattails to the to the championship seat right here. And uh, are you going to split the money with him? Uh, no, no, we're not allowed to split the money, but I'll buy so him a just, little something, something. You're going to buy him two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of gifts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I might buy him a jet ski or something. Now, yeah. listen. Um, more importantly, Eric and Janelle, look this way. How are you? Now, let me just say, did you feel bad when James called you fat? Because I wanted to hurt him. Yeah, I, I felt yeah. really bad because I felt James was my friend when yeah. I saw that I was hurt. And you're oh. not fat. Look at you. You're Thank gorgeous. You, Rosie. And, I mean, what is that about? And now, how about you? What about me? Uh -oh. First of all, if I hear one more woman on reality TV say, it's bros before hoes, <laughs> yes, I'm going to jump off that. a bridge somewhere. <laughs> Erica, yeah. did you actually fall for that human being next to you who was canoodling with you in the bed and depriving you of your money that was rightfully earned? There was never any... <laughs> Any love? I mean, there was always like attraction and lust. flirting and yeah, okay, a little lust, but there was never love. I mean, but you guys definitely had a showmance. I mean, if something was going on there under the sheets, what happened that last kissing. week? A little, a little kissing, kissing. A little kissing. kissing. Okay. But there did you? Kissing. Last night, though, you heard some things for the first time, and yes. you heard yeah. the comments that Boogie here was making yes, about Mike, you. Yes, Mike, why don't you and tell everyone what you said about Erica, who you were in bed with? Well, why I don't will we actually say, just okay. play a clip oh, because even he's gonna make it sound nicer. The sweet, the kind, the touching, the lovable Mike Boogie. Take a look. Spiritually, hmm, creme de la creme. <laughs> Showmances can be very effective for you. It kind of turned into a homance, and I'm just glad that America now knows that uh, that Erica is in fact a hoe. So I've used that girl up for all I need. I've gotten myself in a position to win this game, and uh, that's all she was good for. Okay. Speech. I don't know if any word will help you right now. <laughs> That's right. uh, the girls had just gotten together and evicted my best friend Will, and uh, it was very traumatic. Rosie, yeah. okay. I know it how was... you loved Will with your little 12 year old. <laughs> hey, buddy, you on the phone? Yeah, buddy, chill down. <laughs> hey, buddy, hey, buddy, we're 12. <laughs> I, I did actually find that funny. You found it funny? I kind of found it funny. I got I didn't, I didn't find the whole stuff funny, but I, I mean, Erica, you kind of seemed in shock <laughs> yeah, last night. And so you, you looked in shock, You Erica. looked like you were in shock, didn't really absorb what you had just heard. Today, it's got to feel a little different hearing that. Um, you know, actually, I, I knew that Mike was really, really upset when I evicted Will. And I actually, he was in the diary room for like, two, what, like two hours? Two hours. And two we were like, oh Yeah, she's a hoe, he said. She's a hoe. Remember him? She's a hoe. There he is with the hoe. <laughs> Which makes him a whole master, if you ask me. <laughs> nice to see you, Mike. Thank All you. right. No, I mean, I, I, mean, I kind of had an idea that he was not being very positive, you know, to me in the diary room. At but that did, point. You, did you really think that you could go in there and, and find someone and kind of break through the, the wall of Big Brother and, and have a relationship? And we were talking about it in Hot Topics. Did you really believe that all these people in it for the game, for the money, out of all of them, you'd find, like, love? No, I'm not, I don't think I ever said that I found love. I mean, I think we, we goofed around, like, oh, you know, we're going to have, like, a baby together. But it was never really, like... Never serious, yeah. just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, Erica. <laughs> I mean, we were just joking around. It wasn't like, you know, like, oh, let's really go have a baby. All right, but what about you and Will? Is that real? Oh, Because no. i got to tell, in, in spite of his horrible, you know, Mike Boogie-like friendship, I do sort of have a teeny crush on him. You do? I enjoy him. I think there's something charming about him in, in a lot of ways. Do you like him in real life? I do. I mean, he's really sweet. We're just really good friends. I mean, it's not romantic in any way. No. I don't think. Look, yeah, there he is naked, and there's your boob on his arm, but whatever. <laughs>
It looks a little bit romantic to me. Oh. Now, Mike, you're in business with Ashton Kutcher. You own a million restaurants. Is this true? Yeah, I have several restaurants with Ashton and Wilmer. A lot of guys have been on the show. And... So you're like a studly one of those guys hanging with the gang. Yeah, right? I, the thing. I try to hang with the gang a little you bit. Do. Yeah. Did, were you worried that you wouldn't win just because people would think you didn't need the money? I was very worried about that. That's why I was very concerned about being against, uh, like, George in mm -hmm. the finals. Um, oh, I love Chuck and George. Mm -hmm. yeah, he What's good man. about All-Stars is they're, they're a bunch of gamers who really respect the game, mm -hmm. and I really felt that in the end they would give the money to the best player, and they did. Oh, please, I'm nauseous from you. Aside Let from me just... <laughs> uh, sorry, Elizabeth. Women, I have a question. Yeah. Well, and for you too, Elizabeth, because Survivor. Why don't the women bond together on the show and go after the guys? Because no. you and Erica and Danielle, you could have wiped the Mike Boogie... <laughs> off the face of the earth. You could have done it, ladies. And yet put the they pinned us so only. far against each other, though, that it was so hard to. They, they pinned us against each other. They but don't you think that women are more competitive with, you, with each other than men? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, because you and Danielle and Erica together, you so could have won. That Danielle is one smart cookie. She is. Yeah, she yeah. Is. She I enjoyed her. Job. It's fine, like Mike, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys going to do with the money, though? I mean, uh, we're, we're working on three restaurants in Atlanta, Georgia right now, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to reinvest it in that. Reinvest it. Do something smart. Okay, good. And I'm giving my mom. I'm a car that I won. You have a mom? Don't you yeah, she's probably <laughs> very embarrassed of the way you treated women on the show. And I'd like to say to Mike Boogie's mother, I don't blame you. Boys do strange things, and you're probably a lovely woman. I'd like to have you come on and do a craft segment, but I didn't enjoy the behavior of your son. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, Janelle, you won the money from the audience vote. Yes. yes. Career in showbiz? Are you gonna? Um, I, I have nothing planned really for, for entertainment. I don't know. What are you gonna do with the money? Anything um, fun? Yeah, just vacation. go on a trip or something with my mom. Yeah, yeah, like that. Your mom's probably very proud of the way you played the game. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about you, Erica? What did your mom say? She hates my boogie. That's all. <laughs> well, I'd like to also invite Erica's mother onto the program. <laughs> Because I feel that that would be a wonderful, wonderful show. And then together they can just craft an I hate boogie blanket. What are you guys Actually, doing? I bedazzled some t-shirts with that, but they wouldn't let me wear it today. I think Rosie has a crush. I, maybe. I think we've established that. Rosie All right, Mike, you know, I don't know. We could go out drinking and we could maybe bond over some issue, but I'm very disappointed in you. Well, it's, just, it's just, you know, and that's why we wanted you to be here, just so you can know that well, the disappointment is there. It. But it is a great show, it. and you it made it entertaining it in your immature 12-year-old way. I, I All right. We'll see you next time, maybe. We'll see you yeah. on the next game. Maybe you guys can go on, like, uh, you know, another game show and, and win again. Thanks, well, thank ladies. You, Boogie, I don't thank know. You. Our thanks to Mike, Erica, and Janelle. We'll uh -huh. be right back. We're hanging up the line on this.